Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I want to show you how we can use Python to make graphs using Excel data. We can find this useful whenever we have several different Excel sheets and we need to form graphs from all of them. So let's jump right in. The first thing we need to do is open up a text editor and import the packages that we need. We need to import pandas as pd and import matplotlib.pyplot as plt as plt. Next, I'm going to go ahead and save the file. And I'm going to call it excelgraph.py. After that, we need to locate the Excel data that we're going to use. I've created two dummy Excel workbooks right here on my desktop. Workbook one looks like this. It's got locations, employees, revenue, and profit. So this is a pretty typical spreadsheet. It just has relevant data to us. The second Excel sheet has the same fields, but it also has some extra fields. This may present a challenge whenever you try to run an Excel macro, and that may be why you're trying to use Python. So let's close out of these and load them into our Python script. Workbook one will be our first one. So workbook one, and then workbook two will be our second one. Now that we have the workbooks defined, we just need to load them into a data frame. We can do this by typing in df, so data frame, equals pd, because that's what we imported pandas as, dot read excel, and then the name of the workbook. Let's work in just the first one for the moment, since it looks nicer than the second one. Now to test and make sure that this works, we can type in print, and then df dot head, and save the file. This function should return the first few lines of our Excel sheet. Now we can test this out by running the Python script. We can do this by opening up a terminal, typing Python 3, or the version that you're using, and then the name of the script. So mine is called excelgraph.py. Hit return. After a few seconds, it returns the values that I expected. So that means we've loaded in our data successfully. Next, we need to pick the values that we want to graph. I'm interested in the profit and the location. So I'm going to type in values, df, which is what I named the data frame, two square brackets, and then the names of the fields that I want to pull. So locations, and let's do profit. To test to make sure that this works, I'm going to print values. I'll run the script again to make sure that the values I get are what I want. So Python 3, Excel graph.py, execute. And it just returns the locations and the profit by location. Now that we know that we can load the values that we want, we just need to define another variable. I'll name mine AX and type in values, which is this variable name right here, plot, and then the type of plot that you want. I think a bar plot represents my data the best, so I'm going to use it. Now we need to define the x-axis, which I'll use the location, and then the y-axis, which I'm going to use the profit field for, and then ROT, which is just the tick markings on the chart, equals zero. Now I just need to show the plot. I can do this by typing plt.show. Now we just need to execute this script and we should receive a plot of all this data. If you're following along with my example, your plot should look like this. It does exactly what we expected it to do. Now this may be no big deal, but here's the cool part about using Python for your graphing. So we know that we have a second workbook as well that has completely different information, but all we need to do is come up here on our script and change one character to workbook 2. Save the file, control C to end the last script, and now all we need to type is python3 excelgraph.py to run the script again, and a completely new plot should be formed. By writing one Python script, we can eliminate the need of Excel macros and to customize Excel macros to specific spreadsheets. This second workbook had a bunch of unnecessary fields 
that an Excel macro probably would have stumbled through. With Python, we're able to actually go ahead and pull just the fields that we want and create important graphs using just those fields. And we can do it automatically with just one Python script. And that's all I got for this video. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below and I'll try to get back to you. I'll see you guys next time.